Look, I know there are more everything wrong videos than there are case studies about anyone that lived in Botswana. But when I say that this man is everything wrong with YouTube, I don't mean YouTube. But the entire scope of short form content creation as a whole. TikToks, Reels, Spotlights, whatever. Now, in every generic YouTube case study, we will discuss who LOL is and his rise into stardom. One missing component, there is straight up no information about the guy. The only information regarding the guy is that he resides in the United States and people fucking hate him. His low funny videos is spam but under almost every YouTube video lately, I see multiple comments by low funny videos that get thousands of likes. Almost always reply that he stole the comments. Does a bot control the account or did its owner just copy a lot of comments to farm likes? Or am I just crazy and it's a perfectly normal account? I don't know, but he has so many subs and I'm sick of him. Why does he have 7 million subscribers and why is he appearing in almost every comment section? It is the most cringe, uninspired, downright pain melting content I've ever seen. He is so much brain. <laughs> I hope he is botting because if he really gets more than 100k's or million views for his content, man, we are fucked. Seems like our good friend LOL over here has been stealing and copying other people's comments just to get cool likes and replies. I don't know why people need to feel to even beg for attention in comment sections when they have 15 million subscribers. Also, Social Blade predicts that in 5 years, if he keeps his subscriber growth rates aka his sub bot rates, he would be at the same level of Mr. Beast, the guy that actually does make videos with effort. Yeah, I guess we gotta document his rise, like rise and fall, whatever. In February of 2023, LOL began making content, but was making content all the way back in April of 2022. And already in the start of his YouTube career, there are already things wrong in his videos. Some people call it reacting, others call it stealing content. You often have commentary to show your reaction more than just an eyebrow race. But you'll just be typecasted into audiences that only know your language, losing out on billions of audiences. So you gotta just don't f talk. So basically, it gives these YouTubers a method to do the bare minimum to get views. So they just nab gameplay from other people and just place it as their own. Now, it is a bit rude for me to assume that every content in these videos are stolen. Now, how about this? It's great to know that even stealing movie clips but actually can justify by showing some cool secret detail about it can still be as lazy as this. And dude literally wasted 3 seconds just to just subscribe to his own channel like anyone above the age of 11 would ever do that. But I have defended stealing content in the past, it's just lawless land of copyright. But when you use it in a way like this, it's just straight up scummy. Not in the sense that it is literally lazy content, but in the fact that it does not provide anything meaningful to the viewer except the fact that it gives him views and you just lay there with your eyes bleeding because of fucking annoying sound effect. I could go and on and on about this kind of content, how repetitive and boring this kind of content is. It's just literally stealing clips and just taking all of the benefits. But why the f does he have razor blade sunglasses? Welcome to the anti Kring store, anti Kring spray, one like, anti Kring bomb, five likes. A therapist, 20 likes. Shut the fuck up. Another form of this reaction content is nabbing other people's content, filming yourself doing something and reaping the benefits. Just the difference? A bit more editing that would take 5 minutes. The drugs won't affect the child. The child. Some pregnant lady. Alcohol won't affect my child. The child. 
You know as much as the dumb meme the whole pregnant lady ruined her baby? If you got preteen idiots practically calling you a product of a mistake, I think you should think about your entire stick body. When you feel useless, well, remember this guy. What do your child does? Bada bada bada. I feel like this is an episode of a mirror house but it reflects little brain rot and kids that borrow their parents phones. It's not the common man to understand. Ah yes, a multi-billion dollar company is saving effort by pasting the same created asset into other insignificant details to save on time. Even Albert Einstein wouldn't have understood this. I know it is literally just sitting out titles and such, but can you fuck off? Dude, it's only just a easter egg. Why you use horror song? Now I can't sleep. His most viewed video is a 138 million view video, the most impenetrable game in the world. Skull emoji. It is literally a fucking mobile game ad. Smart people. Like if you are smart. I love you 1%. I love you. I love you. I love you. This video has become such a cesspool for people begging for likes. I'm gonna say this right now, he is literally the opposite of Midas. If everything he touches turns to gold, everything LOL touches will just give him a <laughs> give him a restraining order. It's like if I found the memes were personified into a person. The absolute lengths this guy is developing himself into just for 60 cents for f***ing videos. Guys, I think he's cringe. This is literally stealing other people's shit. What the fuck? Like if you give him the benefit of the doubt, at least he's participating in the video. This is a straight up mp4 and uploading kinds of shit. Hmm, ah yes, two kinds of issues on this site. People that fucking waste shit just for dog shit content, and the people that actively makes it worse. Haha, uh -huh, poof joke, laugh now, f*** you. And just so you think, at least he isn't trending and trying to use viral memes. You know what, for a lol video it ended quickly so it wasn't that f***ing bad. Genuinely, genuinely, what the f is wrong with this guy? I'm just giving up. I I fucking hate this. Now there is some speculation that LOL is potentially buying bots to subscribe to his channel and boost his channel illegitimately. People were speculating that there was fucking no way that anyone in this fucking earth would ever want to subscribe to his channel. But the reasonings might go a bit more technical. In Social Blade, I'm not too sure how accurate their subscriber counts are since subscription analytics are pretty hard to accurately depict to the teeth, but it is pretty accurate that it does go near to the actual number. In Lowe's case, he has been getting nearly 100,000 subscribers every day. In the past, viewer count to subscriber count was fairly justifiable, 
A big bump of views gained him 260,000 subscribers in May of 2023 while getting 500,000 subscribers next month, not getting a ton of views but still within the range of reason. In August to September, he didn't get much views, so the subscribers, but once he did get some traction, subscriber count followed. The only case where the view count didn't match with subscriber count was low gaining 200 million views but only gaining 200,000 subscribers as compared to only 55 million subscribers equating to 250,000 subscribers. Except in recent times, his subscriber count has flatlined, likely people unsubscribing and not being able to get more subscribers due to poor view counts. And recently, he has gained many views but his subscriber count seems a bit odd. He gained 2.4 million views in a single month, well past surpassing any sort of pick by a vast lead. His detailed analytics would really show the picture. March 19 to the day, consistent 100 to 200,000 subscribers daily, but an inconsistent view count. 2 million views, 100,000 subscribers. 5 million views, 100,000 subscribers. No views at all, 200,000 subscribers. It is however worth noting that a lot of his videos are often taken down due to copyright or privating them, resulting in negative view counts so there are alternative forces tainting the data. But it is still bizarre how recent view count stayed relatively stable growth, subscriber count has experienced a steep growth. However, this is all speculation, no concrete proof has revealed him actually using bot accounts to boost his career, so take my word with a grain of salt. But it is undeniable how his analytics right now is pretty odd. Also fix your fucking banner you fuck.